What's up guys, Stephen Bilgren here from Pro Physique. Today I'm gonna teach you how to ball on a budget and do some bodybuilding meal prep for under two dollars. Over in Tampa, because it is wholesale and I can get chicken by the fucking crate, essentially. So I buy it in bulk, which kind of saves me a lot of money, but I have gotten in as low as $1.23 per pound for boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Caveat being you have to buy 40 pounds at a time. So we're gonna go inside, pick up some chicken, and get that shit home. Um, and then we will continue on with the how to build bodybuilding meals on the cheap video. So what's up guys, back at the house. Um, chicken is in and I wanna show you this because I am quite proud of it. This is probably the cheapest I think I've ever found chicken at. So it's a 40 pound case. And what, I don't know if you can see it there. Let's see if this, $46. So I'll go ahead and put a screenshot of that other one. Whoop whoop. So I will go ahead and put a screenshot of that other one in, but that is an awesome, awesome deal. So that chicken will last me probably three to four weeks, about a month, um, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it last that long. But the first step is to get some good background tunes going on that aren't going to get your YouTube video blocked and put on a sweet, relaxed day shirt. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so first things first, guys. What does 40 pounds of chicken look like? Looks a bit like that. That is a case. The reason we're gonna be able to make this work so cheap is because of the fact that we're buying in bulk. So, when well, starting with chicken, there's a couple things we have to understand and a couple things you're gonna to wanna to need um, to make sure that you get everything set up as well as possible. So first and foremost, you're gonna want your trash can, yep. Reason being that when you buy chicken in bulk like this, um, it is still boneless and skinless chicken breast. However, it is not butchered the best, so there's always quite a bit of fat left to trim off of it. And so as you see today, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some of this counter space away from uh, all this uncooked chicken, but we're gonna have to trim off quite a bit of fat. So that's where we're gonna start. Oh, and a sharp knife really helps. So we'll start there. Chicken should essentially look lean for the most part. We'll just do some time lapse and then we'll go to the grill. done let's talk about carb sources keeping it easy is probably going to be your best bet if you're trying to ball on a budget and keep costs low so what I like to do oh Uncle Ben he's still around this ain't spider-man okay so I had a house guest to actually cut this open over here but <coughs> Tyler <coughs> Tyler it actually has a resealable portion over here that has a ziploc bag I just go to Sands Club or Costco, any kind of wholesale distributor. This bag of rice is about $7, give or take. So again, very, very cost efficient, not going to break the bank. So what I have is my handy dandy Black & Decker rice maker. There's the pan for it. All I do, six cups of rice. Have my little measuring cup right here. Into that, I fill it to the fill line, or the eight cups line inside here. And we're gonna get that going and go ahead and let it cook while we're paying attention to the chicken. So all right guys, it is a typical Florida day, which means it's doing typical Florida stuff, like raining like a mofo out here. So I'm gonna make this one short and sweet, plus the fact my AC's on the other side, and I know that bitch is loud. 
I'm gonna be out here, and I got my grill, my grill, my grill, and my chicken. I'm just gonna grill it up. I find that grilling is my favorite way to do it because it keeps the uh, moisture locked in a little bit better. I also have some baking in the house just to sort of make sure it goes a little bit quicker, and that rice is also going for us too. So let it rain. Birch. All right, so chicken's going, rice is going behind me. Last part, veggies, right? We want micronutrients. I'm super cheap, super lazy, so I get the frozen veggies. Again, frozen veggies from any kind of the wholesale guy, kind of guys. Works for exactly what we're going to use it for, or what we need it for, which is what? Being easy, being cheap, right? So, that bag of veggies is about $7. Take it in here, pretty easy enough. Couple things you can do. One, if you already have some veggies that are thawed out and ready to go, you can simply just put them in here, put the cover on, put them in the fridge and let them thaw out that way. Heat them up with your food while you're making new portions. Other way to do it, take it over here, put it in the microwave. About eight or nine minutes, easy peasy you have nice hot veggies ready to go. So, now all we have to do, finish up cooking the chicken, let the rice finish up, and then portion out, and then put the extra away. So all right guys, really the last part of the process is simply to portion it out and freeze it up. A couple things that I really recommend that you don't do at this point. One, don't just throw everything into one simple container. I'll show you in just a minute how many containers I use. I portion it out for about five to six days worth of chicken at a time. I eat a pretty decent amount, so that way, when I'm getting low, I take one out, I let it defrost, and then I can just throw it in the microwave whenever I want it. So, again, simplicity rules, right? So, since chicken's done, I baked some, I grilled some, the rice is done, that's already set up, and because of the rice cooker I have very easy to store, I just put the lid back on and pop it in the fridge. And our veggies are all done. So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to box this, box, put this in containers, let it sit out and cool. Here's the thing, if you have nothing else in the freezer, not a big deal. If you have anything else in the freezer, if you put all of this hot chicken into the freezer at once, it will melt all your shit. So, I have a lot of ice cream in there, and I don't want it to melt. So, we're going to let this sit out, normally for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, keep it out long enough to cool to room temperature, or at least close on the outside. Not too long to where we're allowing any kind of foodborne illnesses issues to start happening with it though. So, don't ever leave it out for more than two hours, max. All right, and so everything's cooled down enough to get put in the freezer, but this is sort of what my end product looks like to go in the fridge. I have veggies for about, you know, a couple days. Rice that will last me for probably maybe close to a week. Those two are pretty simple and easy to do in and of themselves and not super time consuming. So I'm not trying to do as much of those at a time. Chicken, now however, obviously we've seen, takes a little bit more time. It normally takes me a couple hours at least to do this much. So. I have chicken portioned out one, two, three, four, five, and a couple smaller containers over here. That's all gonna go into the freezer. I will take it out to thaw and defrost as I need it. I can now go in, pop any kind of meal I want into Tupperware, eat it cold if I have to, but pop it in the microwave, or even just bring it out at the house, pop it on the food scale, boom, weigh it out, throw it in the microwave. My meal's good, ready to go, and cheap as fuck. And then, hey, you can't forget about that. This is what my refrigerator essentially looks like after everything's put away and done. Plenty of chicken up top for the month. Got a couple out there. Rice, veggies, some more chicken there, and plenty of other stuff to supplement it out if I want it. And so then all you have to do is weigh everything out. It's all down there. And there it is. You've got your bodybuilding meal prep for under $2. So today's meal, we're gonna hit that post-workout. Six ounces of chicken, two servings of veggies, and a half a cup of rice. So that's it guys, hope you liked the video. If you're balling on a budget, keep on balling. Hit the subscribe button, I'll talk to you soon.